Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to set up a payroll item. My name is Matt Holtquist with QuickBooks University and uh, this video I want to walk through how to set up a payroll item. Okay, so if you use if you use payroll in QuickBooks, you know, there's a couple of options. You got the full service, you got the uh, uh, assisted, and then you can also use the payroll function within QuickBooks where it doesn't download tax tables and things like that. But um, when when you do use it and it downloads the tax tables, it makes things a whole lot easier because it keeps those updated and it does the calculations for you. So when you're setting up payroll in QuickBooks, you're gonna to need to know how to set up payroll items, okay? And it's gonna set up uh, some of the common items for you, you know, like wages and everything, and there's an easy setup, and I'm gonna walk through some of that here, okay? So when you're inside QuickBooks here in the home screen, you're gonna to go to the list menu, and you can go to payroll item list, okay? So you, you'll see here in this QuickBooks uh, sample file, there's a lot of these items set up already, okay? So the payroll item list is, is just like your item list for everything that you sell uh, or services or sales tax or sales tax items, etc. except the payroll item list is everything that's going to go into payroll, okay? These are the things that are going to show up on an employee's paycheck, all right? And it's got... You'll see here it's got all the item names and then the types. So we've got yearly sal salary, hourly wage, bonus, and then you've got taxes, uh, other uh, withholding items. Okay. And then tax tracking, compensation. It's, uh, you know, what account this is going to. And then it's got payable to for the liabilities and then your account IDs. Okay. So it's a nice handy way to, to track these items. All right. So if you need to set up a new payroll item. So... Let's say, for example, uh, we need to uh, set up a 401k contribution, okay, or some kind of retirement plan contribution. Okay, we are going to go down to the payroll item button down here and click new. All right, so you have a couple of options here when it says to do a new one. Okay, so let's go through each of those here. So you've got easy setup and you got custom setup. So easy setup is use the standard settings recommended for most users. And uh, most users are going to use this, all right? So if we click next, you choose which type of payroll item it is, okay? And, you know, the reason it's important to set up these types, uh, let me just emphasize this, is because, you know, some items have uh, different taxes on them. So just a real quick overview basic of payroll is, you know, when you pay somebody as an employee, there's going to be federal taxes, um, not not the withholding tax that I'm talking about, but I'm talking about Social Security and Medicare, these right here. Uh, then you're going to have state taxes like unemployment, uh, you know, this California, there's disability and training tax, and then you're going to have the federal unemployment tax. So some things are subject to these taxes, some things are not, okay? And then certain deductions you know, reduce pay so you have less of these taxes and some don't. Okay. So for example, uh, health insurance through what's called a cafeteria plan, uh, that is a pre-tax item. Okay. And it's going to reduce uh, your wages for Social Security and Medicare. 401k is also a pre-tax item, but it doesn't reduce for Social Security and Medicare. It just reduces your uh, wages for income taxes. Okay. So it can be, if, if you are not familiar with payroll, um, it can be very, very confusing. Okay. So this easy setup has these automatic settings, uh, which basically they know we are programmed into the software that, Hey, you're withholding retirement benefits. Okay. We're going to reduce wages for withholding tax for income tax, uh, but not for social security, and Medicare. Okay. All right, so we'll say retirement benefits, 401k, we click next, and it's going to take us to this easy payroll setup, okay, to where it says, what retirement benefits do you provide to your employees? You literally select all that apply, okay? Most businesses, small businesses, are going to have either simple IRA or 401k, okay? So uh, we're going to say 401k, all right? And if you don't have a Roth component, then you just leave that blank. Click next. 
Okay, so the payee uh, we'll say is, uh, yeah, let's say Fidelity. Okay, account number one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, payment frequency. Okay, this is how often you pay for what you withhold from employees' paychecks. Okay, you know, uh, again, this is getting a little deep in the weeds, but in general, you know, you have to pay, I believe it's within 30 days for most, most 401ks. So if you withhold from an employee's paycheck, you have to hand that over to the 401k company within 30 days. Okay, so we're going to say weekly, okay, on the first uh, day of the month for the previous month's liabilities, okay? So we'll click next, and voila, in the easy setup, it's pretty easily done, okay? So now let me, uh, you'll see here we have 401k employee deduction, 401k match. That's if uh, you have a match, okay? So now let's say that we want to do a custom setup for this item. Or we can even say that, let's say we have, um, let's say that we have a compensation uh, item that we want to set up. Okay, so we click next. Let's say that this is a wage. All right. Um, and we click next. Do you want to set up a payroll item to track hourly wages, annual salary, commissions, or bonuses? Okay, so this one, let's say that we're going to set up a, let's see. Let's say we're gonna set up a commission because they don't have commissions in here. All right, so we click next. Enter the name for the commission. We'll say sales commission. Okay, and so what you'll see here is that if you're not using the easy setup, it walks you through and you pick all of these items, okay? So sometimes this can be handy because, okay, if, you have a payroll item you want to classify differently on your chart of accounts. For example, right here, you can direct it pretty easily to go to a different account. So you'll see it defaults to payroll expenses, but we want to default it to gross wages. Okay. Or if we want to set up a new account for sales commissions. Okay. All right. So let's go to gross wages. We click next. Okay, default rate. Okay, this is if you have a default rate that you are paying sales commissions. You can leave this at zero, okay, if, uh, you know, you don't know. It's going to vary. It's going to be a different amount. So we're going to leave that at zero because we don't know exactly how much the sales commissions are going to be, and it's not going to be a certain percent of pay. So let's click finish. And now we have sales commission. All right. Going back to that custom setup, if you need to change the account that something goes to, okay, for example, if we want to say salary, we want to adjust this, you can edit this item and it'll walk you through these steps. The payroll item salary, you can change the name here, click next. You can change it to a different account, gross wages, uh, if we want to change it to a different account, we can, and then we click finish. So even if you do the easy setup, you can always go back in here and edit these payroll items to change them to a specific account or adjust the settings if you want to. All right, so these are the basics of how to set up payroll items, how to use payroll items if you use payroll in QuickBooks. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Would love to have you join me over at the QuickBooks University and join our community as a member. You can get more information on that by going to qbuniversity.org.